The city of Johannesburg's uh, MMC for Public Safety, Dr. Mgrini Traku, joins us now for more on this. So very good evening to you and thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us. Good evening, Tavisa, uh, and then good evening to your listeners as well. Let's talk about the strategy for this particular festive season. Um, I'm not sure how much yeah. of the program you've been watching, but we've been reporting of an increase in various types of crimes. Uh, human trafficking was something that we mentioned as uh, uh, crime, robbery, all, t all types of crime, rather, beyond robbery, have been reported on the increase as well. So what is the strategy for this December? Look, the strategy, look, as I said, that we're going to be dealing with the, um, with what is called, you know, the tribe band within the, within the, 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 the city. One, it is your traffic law enforcement, two, by law enforcement, and number three is your crime combating and the prevention. So on the traffic one, there's going to be, there's an increased roadblocks everywhere. So uh, that's why I said we gave them a warning on Friday that please ensure that you actually comply. We are going to be searching a lot of cars everywhere. Uh, when you when those cars are being searched, uh, we actually found you know illegal weapons there and others you know some illegal some, some drugs that they were found in there as well. So there's a max there's an, a high increase of the roadblock and these are also located at the at the border, as you are entering the city of entering or leaving the city of Johannesburg, there are vehicles which are stationary there, and they are actually stopping, you know, the the, the people just to check in, even you know the the, the, the compliance. And also, um, we are in implementing the bylaws, which is we are getting into all taverns, um, all taverns, the places of in entertainment in the townships and in the suburbs as well looking at the compliance and even there we are searching we bring our canine so that they can check if there are any drugs uh, inside the, the, the area and the and the new unit the tru unit the the the, the jmpd um you know your your task response unit has also been deployed in all the regions of johannesburg and the crime prevention and and combating units so they are saturating every area and um, as you have seen yesterday that uh, i think on on friday there were six guys that were terrorizing the community of elders we actually issued a a 24 hour manhunt and we we managed to find those people at procure glen so our 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 forces are on the ground we the eyes and ears there's a increased policy you know the visibility everywhere and tomorrow we're going to issue now a a a, a there's a line um, a number where people can actually report or whatsapp us any crime uh, that they are seeing in their areas and all of that what you would call it a crime tip offs so our police are not safe so they're on the ground we are doing everything we can so that we are able to nab these criminals does that mean that you have also increased your intelligence capacity at this point Yes, we remember at the JNPD, of course, we don't have that leg or that department, but what we are using, at so what we are using our patrollers. We've got patrollers on the ground, patrollers in, uh, in deep slot. That's why when there was a high increase of people that are being killed, uh, we managed to be tipped off by, the, you know, by them. Um, um, and also in Alex in Orange Farm. So we've got the eyes and ears on the ground. We're working with the patrollers, the neighborhood watchers, and also there are some private, you know, you know, the security, which are we, you know, they, they share this information with each other. So we work with all the stakeholders uh, that are there. And then that's why I'm saying that uh, uh, this new line, um, this new um, a number that we're going to be issuing tomorrow will also be really helping us that the community must tell us all their houses of, of interest because our communities, uh, the only thing that they need, they say that, look, uh, MMC, we, we know where these tags are staying, but the problem is that is the response that, that we have not been getting for, for like long. But now the launch of the TRU, the JMPD TRU, has been welcomed a lot because in a span, of, of about 10 days on this launch, we, we managed to recover 21 guns. And a lot of thugs that are, are the people of interest have been arrested as well. Because remember, even in JNPD, 
we will arrest the, these, these people, but the people who have to investigate and process them is still SEPs, so we take them to SEPs. So we still rely on SEP to ensure that these people, when we find them, are actually taken away. So, so, so we are on, on, on the ground and that line, it will actually help us a lot because working with the stakeholders on the ground, it has been assisting at all in sharing this in intelligence. So are there types of crimes that as per your operations that you'll be paying closer attention to? We know cash and transit heists and the December or festive period seem to be in tandem. Yes, the, we've actually met up the, the, the whole freeway. The, the, our freeway uh, patrol unit has been intensified. They've been, uh, we actually told them that uh, M1 and the N1 are a, a whole, you know, the priority. And also all the intersections at the city of Johannesburg are meant up so that any criminality which is happening within the city, the, the thugs cannot go anywhere. And also, as far as you know, you're actually pushing me to really talk about what we're doing. But of course, in the city there as well, we've got um, uh, officers which are unmarked. So they are moving around in the areas of the, you know, the small street uh, area there and, the, you know, um, and, and the area about Ramia Musa. So we've got cops which are on foot, the foot patrol on, on the city to really nab those ones. Uh, those guys who are actually robbing, you know, the you know the, the, the people because there are a lot of crime that's happening there in the inner city, is the crime where people are, are robbed and they're actually being chokehold. So those ones we've got uh, our undercover unit which has been deployed on the city, quite a number of them. They actually concentrated there. So most of them in it's in, in the inner city, Hillbro and Yeovil. So our undercover unit is is actually there. So we actually find that's why yesterday. Um, I mean, in the area of Eldos and Westbury, uh, I mean, we've been there as well. We've got our undercover unit. They've been giving us in information. That's how we actually got. If you remember, there were six guys of, of interest that they were, were actually looking for. They were terrorizing the people of like Eldos. Within 24 hours, a 24-hour man hand was issued, and we managed to get one or two you know, to nab them. Gone are those days when it's episode that we are waiting for the thugs to really, um, you know, to really act. We are looking for them now. We've got operations lined up this week. Houses of interest raids, where we go and find criminals. So, and also the TRU has been given a mandate that any criminal that is pointing a gun at the police or they want to shoot our community, we shoot to kill. We are, we are not, you know, we're not hesitating on that. And uh, yeah, so that has been happening, and and then you find that with the, some of these people have been running away, and yeah, so b people are, are welcoming the whole unit, especially the tactical response unit and the crime prevention units, which are deployed in the region A up to G of the city of, of, of Jobe. There's been a success this week. We'll be having you know the press conference to issue to you in terms of the statistics. How many guns have we? You know, have we confiscated people that have been arrested, drugs that have been confiscated by the unit that was actually established by the JMPD. But we are not uh, yet there. Uh, uh, we, we still have to do more. Um, so, so all our forces, um, um, I mean, the, the bylaw unit, the crime prevention unit, all the traffic uh, management, they are all out now. And to ensure that compliance is done in terms of the traffic, the discs must be proper. And please, people must not carry any illegal weapons or any drugs in their, in their areas. We've actually arrested a lot of people and many cars that way we found illegal weapons and actually drugs. So every corner you take anywhere, the, the, the police, they will find you. Some of the people on Twitter, if you were following me, they were saying that in every kilometer that they passed, mm -hmm. they, would, they were seeing there, there was a JMPD. And, and please, I must not be called and be irritated by anyone. I'm not going to, I'm not, I don't enter that thing. And, uh, you know, uh, our police have been mandated that no negotiations. If you are drunk or you found illegal uh, weapons and all of that, jail too. No negotiation, none right. whatsoever. And that's a good definitive note to yeah. leave it on. Thank you so much for your time. That is the City of Johannesburg's MMC for Public Safety, Dr. Mgrini Chakou.